While NASA's long-awaited launch of the Artemis rocket to the moon was scrubbed this morning after several last-minute problems. The rocket, which does not carry a crew, is the first flight in NASA's quest to put astronauts back on the moon since the Apollo program ended 50 years ago. Michelle Nichols is the director of public observing at the Adler Planetarium. She joins us now live. Uh, Michelle, the problems detected on the pad today, they were uh, pretty serious. Does that mean they're difficult to fix? I guess what are the odds of getting a launch on Friday? Well, NASA seems somewhat optimistic that they can address the issue um, and try for that launch attempt on Friday. They'll know more. They'll be able to announce, I think, um, by later tomorrow afternoon whether this fix might be able to be done on the launch pad. If it can't, then they'll have to roll it back. But we'll see how it goes between now and tomorrow. And talk to us about what exactly went wrong. I know there's been a lot of talk about the engine and that perhaps there was an issue there. Explain to us in, in more detail what happened. Basically, the engine has to be at the right temperature in order mm -hmm. for the, the rocket to, to fire. So uh, the engine wasn't at the right temperature. So that was one of their main constraints. If, if the system doesn't work quite right, you don't get off the launch pad. Mm -hmm. so, um, so yeah, it was basically an engine temperature issue, although there were a few other issues that right. cropped up. But yeah, but that was the main one. And it's not unusual for issues like this to crop up, but they are serious, especially when we're talking about a leak. Absolutely. When you're playing with hydrogen, <laughs> you, do, you, do, you don't mess around. So yeah, it's it, they're using liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen for for this uh, for this rocket for the rocket fuel. So yeah, the 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 possibility for danger is yeah. considerable. So uh, you gotta you gotta be careful. All right, makes sense. Okay, let's talk long term. What this mission means for the space program? What are we looking at? Why is it so important to do it right now? Basically, we're going back to the moon. Haven't been back to the moon, as you said, for 50 years. And this is not just go back to the moon, it's go back to the moon and explore areas we haven't ever explored before. Go back to the moon to stay. Ex establish a presence on the moon and in orbit around the moon so that we just don't go and mess around for a little bit and not go back for 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is really a, a concerted effort and a plan to be able to get us to the moon to do some long term living on the moon, just like we've been establishing a long term human presence in mm -hmm. Earth orbit on the International Space yeah. Station. And 50 years ago, it was the U.S. against the Soviets in the space race. Uh, the Chinese are uh, making a big push to get to the moon as well. Yeah, they've got uh, some lunar exploration that they've done. They sent a, 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 a rover that uh, operated on the surface of the moon. They've got a spacecraft that operates on the on the far side of the moon. Um, but you know what? Hey, the moon's a big place. It doesn't seem all that big. It's a big place. There's there's room for everybody. So uh, it's it's an interesting um, opportunity to see these two countries and, and two groups of countries, actually, uh, because uh, the European Space Agency is involved or will be involved in the Artemis mission as yeah. well eventually. So it's it's pretty exciting. All right. A lot to watch and hopefully it will launch on Friday. We'll see. We hope so. <laughs> Fingers Thank crossed. you. Okay. Thank you, Michelle Nichols.